Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your iPhone 5S, iPad Air 1, and iPad Mini 2 to iOS 10.3.3 today. So let's get started. So in order to downgrade the iPhone 5S, iPad Air 1, and iPad Mini 2 to iOS 10.3.3 is, and also, I am very aware that you could downgrade other devices too, like the iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, 5, and 5S, including the iPads 2, 3, 4, Air 1, Mini 1, and Mini 2. For the 4, the iPhone 4 model, you can only downgrade it to custom firmware. You can't downgrade anything else, like stock. But the other ones, you can so what you're gonna do is go to I Redmond Pi and download the 1033 file. And if you go to IPSW.me, if you try to download it from there, it'll give you a couple megabyte file rather than a full gigabytes like it's supposed to be. So what you're gonna do is go down to the bottom and the iPad Air 1 is, is considered the fifth gen iPad as of right here. So even though it says iPad Air, that's still the Air 1. So we're gonna click 5S GSM which I've already downloaded here, see? Right here, 4.0, 64-bit, 10.33, 2.54 gigabytes. Now we're gonna go to GitHub and download a tool called Leakdown. I'll link this page in the description below. You guys can see how this works. This will support the iPhone 5S, iPad Mini 2, and iPad Air. I will be covering the iPhone 5 and iPad 4 in a different video, not today, but I do know they can be downgraded. Believe me, the way I do it's faster than using Lead Down, 100%. So once you do that, go to version 2.2, click Rev A DMG. And now, once that's downloaded, you're going to click the file. We're going to move this over to applications by dragging it in there, which I've already done ahead of time. There's Lead Down. I'm going to open it. If it asks you to like authorize the app by going to settings of privacy you guys go and do like open anyways all right so now we're going to do is put the 5s on the dock if it asks you to trust your device then go ahead and do that but i would recommend doing it from a freshly restored device and it's a better chance of working that way so we're going to do is put the phone into dfu mode so now we're going to hold home and power until it powers off then we're going to go and Hold the home button. Sometimes this doesn't work the first time. Try it again. One, two, three. Release the power button and keep holding the home button. And there we go. Now it shows up in DFU mode. Don't listen to Finder. The Finder will always pop up, which is totally normal. So there we go. You see, now it says iPhone 5S GSM is supported. So now we're going to go and select the file, browse IPSW, and now we're going to go ahead and select this one right here. Double click it, and now it's going to check and verify the IPSW. This could take a, like a few minutes before it starts, which is totally normal. And there we go, so it extracted the IPSW, please wait. So the next thing it'll, it'll do is fetch the OTA blobs from the file. Okay, so now when it's extracted the file, we'll click downgrade. It will erase the data. Click OK. And now it says exploiting device. The finder will always pop up, which is totally normal. And it says fetching OTA blobs. You have the option to back up your blobs. I'm going to skip this. See, now it's fetching the OTA blobs. Sorry, the finder keeps popping up in front of me. Oh, now it's going to start sending the necessary files, so this is totally normal. The finder will always pop up like that. The screen should turn green if this it was successful. So there's always gonna be a cooldown section right here for five seconds, totally normal. Starting restore process. Oh, you see the screen lit up a little bit? It should flash green in a second here. There we go, see, turn green and boom. Now it's going to start the downgrade process to iOS 10, just like that. So we should see a progress bar appear right on the phone. And there we go. Maybe hard if you guys see this because of the brightness. Now it's going to start restoring to iOS 10. I'm going time lapse to come back when it's done.
Alright guys, so I'm back and the restore was successful. You guys see, the 5S is now booting in a stock iOS 10 without a tether boot. This is completely untethered. We're now on stock iOS 10. See, leak down was successful, just like that. Alright guys, so I'm back and my 5S is now booted into iOS 10. And this is not a tethered boot. This is completely untethered like an iPhone 5 running iOS 10. But I'm going to pop a SIM card in the phone in order to activate. Because iOS 10 and earlier made you activate with a SIM card. I do know that iOS 12 renewal removed it. I'm not sure by 11. But I do know that for iOS 12. Alright, so now we're going to click English. United States. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Wi-Fi. Go back and my Wi-Fi is not connected. And it says it's now activated my iPhone. Sorry if my camera is a little fuzzy right now. My phone's brighter than it should be. That's why it's doing that. We're going to enable location. We're not going to set up Touch ID right now. We're going to choose Do Not Add Passcode. We're going to set up with a new iPhone. We're going to skip all this for now. Once I, if I sign a map ID, it'll take forever. We're going to use Siri. We're going to share with Apple. We're assured app developers get started. It just like that, we're now running iOS 10. I might turn down my brightness. Okay, there we go. So now we'll go to settings, general, about. Now we're running iOS 10.3.3, .3, just like that. So if you guys want to go back to iOS 12, you just go to software update, and it'll appear right here. Sometimes it takes a second for it to do it. Yeah, there you go. So you can update back to iOS 12 if you want to. So the iPhone 5S, iPad Air 1, and Mini 2, you can jump between iOS 10 and iOS 12. No problem. For the iPhone 5 model, iPhone 5 and iPad 4, you can actually go between iOS 8.4.1 and 10.3.3. .3. I'll show you guys how to do that later on in the future. Not now. So that is how you downgrade your iPhone 5S, iPad Air 1, and iPad Mini 2 to iOS 10. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. This video, peace out.